guys and welcome back to time for tea so i'm making this cardigan and i was just uh making a tiktok for it um because i'm that sad and i thought to myself why not make this into a video so here is what i have right now my camera's doing that thing again i'm not sure what's happening but i'm just going to be quick here um I have the sleeves done, the front and the front two panels and the back. I'm literally just going to sew this together now. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to start making the cherries, which are on there. So I'll make the cherries with you guys, if that's okay. And then all we need to do then is the uh, ribbon around the outside. Um, not sure how long this is going to take me, but... I'm hoping we'll get it done at some point. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Hey again, guys. I've just finished uh, putting it all together. It's looking lovely. It fits really nice. The sleeves are the perfect length. Finally, I've made sleeves the perfect length. So all I'm going to do now is make the um, the cherries with you guys. And then we're going to make mo multiple. So I'm going to show you uh, how Chenda makes one. And then we'll put them all over the jumper. Uh, the cardigan and then after that she does a hem all round that looks a bit like this I haven't watched the full video yet so I'm not sure how it's gonna how she's gonna do it whether she's gonna go backwards and forwards or if she's gonna do this separate and sew it on but we shall see but yeah that's what it looks like so far guys I'm loving this cardigan it's gonna look so cute on and what I'll do at the end is I'll style it how I envisaged it is that even a word? Envision, envisioned, envisioned. Um, how I thought it was going to look before I even styled it. So yeah, I'll style it how I wanted to. But yeah, that's uh, how it looks so far. Gorgeous. Love the sleeves. Hey guys, so I'm here doing the uh, cherry. I've turned the flash on just so you can see what I'm doing. I know there's an easier way to do this, but um, it wants me to do a magic circle. So this is how I do mine. But like I said, there is a much easier way to do this. But, you know, you live and you learn. So the hook I'm using is a 2.0 millimeter hook. Uh, her pattern requires a, a 1.6, which I can't find right now. And I just couldn't bother to have a look for it, to be honest. Um... <laughs> So I'm going to do, uh, like she asked, 12 double crochets into the circle. I hope you can see this. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not used to doing DIYs anymore. So trying to film this way is really strange. Really, really strange. But yes, so this will be one cherry after this. And then I've got to make, I think, how many is, I think there's like three on each arm. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I've got to make twelve. So wish me luck, guys. I'm going to speed this bit up now because um, otherwise I'll just be gas bagging in your ear for the whole, however long it takes me. So yes, off I go. <laughs> Okay, so once that's done, I chained one and I'm going to cut off the tail um, to weave in. So obviously you're going to want to use this tail to sew the cherry on. So I'm going to leave it really long, about that long. I'm just going to snip and just pull the rest out. So that should be secure. And there you have your... First little cherry. 
I love it. I love it. So I'm just going to make another one and then we're going to get on with making the leaf part. So I'll come back to you once I've finished that. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, so now I have to add the leaf section. So we're just going to attach the yarn anywhere I suppose she didn't actually say where and I'm just going to uh yeah stitch that on and chain 12 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now um, we're going to skip the ch first chain that's off the hook there, right here. I'm going to this one. We're going to do a, a single crochet. Then we're going to do a half double in the next one. It's very small, guys. Very small. So this would be the next one. Don't even know if I went all the way through the loop there. Then a double crochet in the next stitch. And I've completely obliterated that stitch. And then um, a half double in the next one. And then a single. Then, I'm not sure if she does a slip stitch in the last bit. Single crochet and then chain six. Yeah, she didn't do the slip stitch. So chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then again, a single crochet, half double, uh, double, and then a half double. And then a single crochet into that one. Oops, and I've lost it again. Oh, what was this? Single, okay. And then a slip stitch into the... To connect both leaves. There we have both leaves there. And then chain six to connect and attach the other strawberry. So two, three, four, five, and six. And I guess I just pick this one up and do what I did that side. Yes. <laughs> Learning process here, guys. I've never made one of these before, so this is my first time. And then I guess we just single stitch into that. Yes. And then I'm just going to cut this off. <laughs> uh, should I leave a long one? Yes, I think I should. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer than I usually would just because I know we've got a <gasps> Sorry about that, guys. I dropped my camera. Well, I dropped my phone. <clears throat> Uh, what have I done here? Um, I've gone around the other way. There we go. So, there you have the cherry appliques. <laughs> so, that's one. I'm now going to go and make 12 more. And then I'll come back to you. Oh, sorry, 10 more. Yeah, got to make 10 cherries. And then I'm going to come back to you once they're all finished. And we're going to stitch them onto the cardigan. I'm excited.
guys so I finished the cardigan I have applied all the appliques to the front and the sleeves it's looking lovely and then I thought to myself I don't have any buttons that match so I just made these little rounds which are literally just 16 um 16 half double crochets and I made five for the five buttonholes in different colors so now I'm just going to test to make sure they fit through, otherwise this is going to be a disaster. Luckily enough, they are crocheted, so they can stretch and bend. But I think that is actually going to be all right. So now I'm just going to sew those on to the cardigan in the, in the right spaces. So I've got to use some stitch markers and um, try and get these you know try and get these in the right place shall we say uh so yeah i'm going to go and do that so yeah literally all i'll do is measure that up to the right uh right size and then put a stitch marker inside there and then obviously when i pull that away i know where the button goes that's really simple but yeah easier said than done but I'm going to get on with that and then I will show you the finished cardigan. So yeah, it's all almost complete and I'm really excited to try it on. We won't look at the inside. Okay, we will look at the inside. This is me not sewing in my edges. <laughs> don't judge, guys. Don't judge. But yeah, we'll just get on with the buttons for now. And um, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Wee. Hey guys, it's finished. I love it. It's, I, oh my God, it's just so, so cute. Here's my little buttons. I'll show you. How cute are they? And I'm glad I did them in opposite colours because it really like ties in with the rest of the cardigan. I'm sitting opposite. You don't want to see my face right now. Um, I've turned the camera around because it was still doing that jumping thing. And it was really stressing me out. So I thought I'd sit on my bed and, and show you the jumper, uh, the cardigan. But yeah, I'm loving the random placement as well. So I didn't place them in a mirror image just because I just thought, oh, you know, it's a handmade item. I want it to look handmade. So yeah, I love the fact that the cherries are everywhere. And I still might add um, some ch a cherry, a set of cherries at the back of each sleeve. Just so when you turn round, um, you've got a, you know, a little bit of design there because the back is plain. But what do you think? And this is from Shein. Um, I have to do the haul on it. I just grabbed this out of the bag and thought, oh, I'll show you guys. It's a little cherry necklace that I bought because I knew I was making this cardigan. So, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. It took me ages. It took me over a week and a half, I think, or two weeks. So, yeah, these are not easy projects that I'm doing at the moment. I'm really um, uh, trying to push myself to do bigger projects. But I absolutely love this cardigan. I'm so, so happy with it. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, look, I'm looking over here. The camera's here. So thank you for watching. And, um, yeah, my next haul will be the Primark haul. And that will be on Wednesday. And I'll probably do the giveaway then as well. So, um, yeah, I'm cutting off my head because my hair's in absolute state. But, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.